Hey, in this video, I'll be reviewing the Pecron E300 LFP. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherman Outdoors and welcome to the Cahutta Wilderness. It is a beautiful day on March 17th. It's about 60 degrees. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and I think that little guy was right. It is, uh, the spring is near. Okay, so today we're discussing the Pecron or Pecron, I'm not sure how to say it, E300 LFP portable uh, power station. This is a 288 watt hour, so it's a little bit on the smaller end of the spectrum. I mean, look at this little guy. He is adorable. It is cute. It is perfect for my needs. So I I have been using uh, a very large one 1152 hour blue eddy that i keep in the car for uh, for handling everything and i've needed something a little bit smaller now full disclosure a pecron did reach out to me and asked me that I, if i would give their unit a review and i tell you what i started looking into it this is pretty on the upper end of capabilities pricing what it can do if we just kind of look at it a little bit again it's another it's 288 watt hours it's got rated output power 600 watts which is pretty good we're going to do a few things with that it is your standard lithium iron uh, phosphate battery very good now with that said it will do 3500 cycles to 80 percent what does that mean it means if i charge it down charge it up i can do that 3500 times until the battery is only at 80 percent capacity that basically means i can do it every day for 10 years so i think i'll be moving on from that at this point in time you know what even it's small but i mean we're still dealing with batteries here so it's 10.6 pounds it has nine outputs we'll go through these in a few, few minutes and it will go uh it'll charge from zero to 80 percent in 60 minutes so these things fast charge now it does have a solar input it's a it only do 100 watts now price wise this is 199 dollars list on amazon there'll be a link in the bottom but they do have a 40 dollar coupon there so you're talking about 159 dollars for uh 288 watts so you know you're not a little little more than 50 cents a watt hour but that's that's fairly good now who does this compete with this really competes with the blue eddy eb3a and the ecoflow river 2. now it, it lines up very well with them if we look you know the blue eddy is only 268 watt hours and the ecoflow is only 256 watt hours rated power they're equal they all have uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries P the pecron wins out on cycles to 80 percent you know uh, obviously this one has the most watt hour capabilities so it's going to be the heaviest it and the blue eddy have nine outputs uh you know what the blue eddy wins in charging time and also in solar input they're all a lot more expensive than the pecron so with all that said, let's take a look at this guy. So I love these type of power stations that don't have any weird handles. This is basically a cube. If we take a look at the display, it's got a simple display. We've got DC on, AC on, nothing more complicated than that. On your DC side, we got your standard outputs. You got your cigarette lighter. You got a 24 volt, you got a 12 volt. Got a USB-C, only one. I don't know why all these power stations only have one USB-C. It's 100 watts. You got two USB-A's at 18 watts. And then you got two plugs here that will do 600 watts max between them. And then you got a charging station up on top for wireless. And then on the side, we got your standard connection here. And then we've also got a solar uh, 100 watt max input here on the side as well. It does have a little light on the side. Now this is not too dramatic. And it is nice because you can put it on the table like so and it'll light it up. Some of these uh, power stations have these crazy lights inside of it. And it does the other stuff too. It'll get a little bit brighter and then it will actually flash. So that's a look around. What can you charge with this thing? So, you know, they've got some specs on their site. Uh, here's a list of things they say you can charge and how many times you can charge them and all of that. Let's hook up this electric kettle here, which requires 500 watts of power and see how that works. Hey, so while that electric kettle is heating up and it's just drawing power out of this thing like crazy, let's open up our mobile app. So all of these devices, even the blue, the blue eddies, and the EcoFlows, they all have a mobile app. Very, it's very common for everything to have a mobile app. Why would you want a mobile app in these as well? You know, maybe you've got it in the back seat, you've got it in the trunk, you've got it somewhere else, and you want to be able to control it. So this is a great app. I've got a bunch of different camping ones here, but we'll go to the Pecron app. It's going to load up. It's going to show me my device list. I am currently online connected to it. Now, I am out in the middle of nowhere. There's no even cell signals out here. So I'm just going to open up this app. It let's me know it's currently at 93%. It's got an output in the middle there of 497 watts or spewing out to our electric kettle that's heating up that very cold water right now. And uh, you know what? This is a pretty good uh, app. It's actually pretty appealing. 
If we look, we've got our input. We can click on our output. It'll let me know it's on the AC side that this 496 watts is going out. If we had any input coming in for whether we had it hooked up to the household power or others, we'd see some input there as well. I can turn these on and off. Uh, just by the, uh, clicking on these buttons here. So we want to turn off the DC, we can. And AC is still going. Um, I've got my LED light on the side. If I wanted to turn that on and, and go to SOS, now obviously it would start turning and we would have our light or if we just want to go to 100%, we can control things from here. So if I had this sitting outside and I wanted to turn the light on, I could. Um, I'm probably gonna have this up in the tent with me later doing some security light and charging my iPhone here on the wireless charger at the top. And I've got an iPad, which will start charging up here in a bit. Uh, that's kind of what this guy's built for for me. I'm not going to have this charging everything in our truck just because it's 288 watt hours, but it is nice to take up into the tent. Some of the bigger ones, you start getting over 1,000 watt hours. They're heavy. I mean, this is 10.6. I mean, it's, it's cute. You can kind of take it around. What else can this thing do? So that's our 100%. We'll just go ahead and turn that off. Um, I can see my battery pack details. I can get information about it. You know, where are we at? I haven't found this does a ton. This just kind of shows a little bit of what you did if you had an external battery pack hooked to this, which we don't. Uh, you got your user manual built in. I've got some system settings. You know, do I want this on eco mode or silent mode? I'll be honest, this thing isn't very loud. Uh, even when it's charging up, it's got, you know, a fan intake on one side and outtake on the other side. I can change the name of it. I can see how bright it's going to be. And then, you know, some input output settings we can change as well around that. So this is a pretty standard app. It doesn't do a tremendous much, but it gives you a lot of visibility and you kind of turn things on and off. Anything you can do on the screen, you can do on this app. I, I like the apps. They're just easier to work with. A couple other things I wanted to note is the uh, kind of the durability and the build of this. So if we look at it, it does have rubber protection on the edges. So if you're slamming it into things, so it does have this cute little bag and inside of here is a power cord so that you can just hook it in and recharge it directly to the house or whatever. And it also has an, a DC kind of a cigarette lighter power supply so that you can charge it inside of your vehicle. We are boiling away. We did use about 25% of our battery in order to do that. But again, this is a 288 watt hour machine. So pretty happy with that. Let's just turn that off. Wow, I am really impressed with this Pecron E300 LFP. I'm usually a snob when it comes to power stations. I've been buying Blue Eddy and stuff. I am just very impressed with the quality of this, what it can do, how it's made, the durability of it, the access to the apps, the watt hours cost per is significantly low on the price competition versus this the ecoflow and the blue eddy this wins hands down you get more power uh great the same amount of features uh, at a lower price so looking forward to continuing this partnership with pecron moving forward look for more videos on more devices from them in the future and uh, again 199 list on amazon and they do have a 40 dollars coupon links in the description below on how to get to that and again, this is the Pecron E300 LFP. I'm impressed, that's all I can say. Hey, if you got a lot of value out of this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Again, I am Robert Sherburn from Sherburn Outdoors. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great weekend.